Gym time, baby. Let's go. It's been a while since I was able to scream gym time into the mic. <laughs> I'm looking forward. We're back after a stomach flu back day today. Yesterday was Monday. It didn't start off with uh, legs uh, after that uh, illness because I didn't want to destroy my body even more. Wasn't even feeling 100%. Just wanted to go in and get the blood pumping, uh, get moving a bit, get out there. Uh, stomach was still a bit upset and I'm still not 100% back, but was able to eat a lot of food yesterday, ate good food today. So uh, filled up with some carbs. So this should be looking good. This morning weight was at 70.4 kilos. So filling up again a bit, but still I was absolutely dehydrated. That was insane. Four days of, of fighting. The first two days I ate, yeah, about, I don't know, 400 calories in total in two days. Accumulated over both days. First day I couldn't eat anything. My body didn't accept anything. And I wasn't hungry at all either, so didn't make a difference either way. So I was depleted, completely dehydrated, and um, yeah, it was getting dangerous. I always, I already was contemplating about going to the hospital for infusion. Is it infusion? I don't know what the English term is, but just hook yourself up to the needle and uh, get fluids into the body so you don't die and pass out because I was. I never had something like that. I was sitting on the toilet and already my vision was already narrowing down, starting to get like a peeping noise in my ear. So everything was starting to black out. <laughs> it wasn't fun at all. Just gonna see the next days and more or less, I'm, I'm gonna track my food obviously, but it's just gonna stay slightly like around maintenance level. So uh, try to eat as much as I burn throughout the day. That is my current goal, just to get the body back running up, up and running again. Time to get back at it, get pumping. The pump is going to be good today. I feel it, the carbs. I ate a lot of carbs, but not enough protein. Let's get in there. Let's pump, mu pump some music. Let's get it hyped up, man. Let's go. Is it baby we are done <laughs> back workout is complete pump was great intensity was high we are back in the game baby yes <laughs> energy is back i'm loving it we're gonna uh, go for a post-workout run now that's the plan at least you know what's amazing to me is the past two weeks or three weeks as i've been shredded or dishredded or let's say more or less decently shredded <laughs> i've never had this many people come up to me and ask me stuff you know are you competing or ask me about uh, nutrition or are you taking supplements are you blasting trend <laughs> all kinds of things and it's just because you're a bit shredded i mean yeah i'm more or less decently lean shredded and uh, have an okay physique um, but it's just people I don't know find it you can be I could be five kilo, kilograms heavier than I'm now and nobody would come up to me and ask me about anything or if I you know for advice let's say advice but just come up to me and start a conversation about anything about fitness or whatever and or compliment me or just you know, say, yeah, you're looking great, great shape or whatever. If you're like this shredded, 
people see it subconsciously, they know it takes a lot of discipline, takes a lot of perseverance and just, you know, not everybody can go this far because obviously you have to train for several years, at least if you're not, you know, blasting trend, then you can do it in a year or two. <laughs> but let's say you're doing it the right way and the sustainable way, then, you know, you have to invest 10 years if you have gifted genetics well, then you still have to put in three years or whatever and be disciplined about your nutrition, be disciplined about training, get in there day in, day out, every week and put in the work, put in the hours, stay consistent with your diet, get in those proteins and everything and people just notice it and give it a value. It just takes some effort to get it done and uh, be in, in a shape like this. And it is tough, it's not easy, obviously. But yeah, that's just something that crossed my mind. Yeah, we are back, back at it, back in the running shoes. And it feels great. I've got these new shoes, the On Cloud Monster Hyper. They feel good, but they are quite narrow. Narrow. Put some blister patches in there just to make sure. Giving it another go now. And let's see uh, if they're any good. But they felt quick in the first run that I did on Thursday hours before disaster started to happen with the stomach flu. Weather is beautiful, it's hot, humid, like 30 degrees, I don't know, 90 Fahrenheit. Woo! -hoo -hoo! And we're out here. Get into the woods where it's nice and cool. Let's go! <laughs> yes, <laughs> we got it done. Let me take off these glasses. Let's check it out. 36 minutes, 7.08 kilometers, 511 pace. Average heart rate, 148. Heart rate was a bit higher than usual, but let it rise again a bit. Felt good, legs were recovered, obviously. We didn't do anything for the past four days, so legs were feeling light, and heart rate was actually feeling, I mean, I wasn't feeling too exhausted at like a heart rate of 155. So I thought, you know, might as well just chill at, you know, mid 150s or 150 around there. Use every run as a new chance to just enjoy it and go with the flow. If you're feeling good, just go with it. And uh, if you're feeling exhausted, then just take it easy and do an easy run uh, or make it an easy run. But the right arch on these on cloud monster hypers is uh, still digging into my arch, still giving me blister blisters or, or maybe it's still the, la the blister from the last run on Thursday, but I'm definitely switching back to the Zoom 5s, fly, Zoom Fly 5s, the Nikes, uh, for the next couple of runs. Just to, I don't know, enjoy running a bit more because I just did 7Ks, wanted to go for 8, but decided it'd be better for the blister. I don't want an aggressive, nasty blister forming there, but I'm definitely noticing the carbs. I feasted on the last two days on carbs, on those party sticks with salt and, you know, just get those electrolytes up again and uh, fuel the body again a bit for some energy. Noticed it in the gym. And in terms of shredding, keeping the cut going or bulking up, not sure. Take a look at this. I mean, there's not much to grab onto in terms of my skin. There's still some fat in there, but other than that, it's just in front here. Uh, I don't know if you see. Yeah, quite shredded, I'd say. <laughs> so I don't know if it makes sense to just continue for another week or two. I mean, what's the use of that? Obviously, yeah, get shit done that we start because I said I wanted to go a full eight weeks 
I don't want to maintain because that's just standing still. We move forward. I want to move towards something. Move either, you know, trying to lose weight or gain strength, gain muscle. In my opinion, maintaining and just like staying at a constant level, that's definitely moving backwards. So we want to move forward, want to make gains or get even more diced to the bone. <laughs> but uh, not sure yet, but I'll keep you updated. We're back, back killing it, increasing volume again and getting back into it. Let's see what we're going to do next and keep you updated. Hope you were inspired or motivated to get after it yourself. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Love you. Peace, baby. Boom. Let's keep moving and move forward.